everybody. Welcome to the homestead. Well, this is the moment you've mo many of you have been waiting for. Uh, we finally got our pot still together and uh, looks magnificent. Um, we're very excited and happy about how everything has turned out with this. It was an absolute joy to put this together and to work with it and to build the kit. And so um, it no, no doubt in my mind that I would highly recommend Claw Hammer Supply uh, for any type of um, any of you out there who are looking to build some sort of pot still uh, for any number of reasons. There's a lot of reasons why I think you should own one of these. And it's one of the reasons I think, uh, well, it's one of the reasons I know I took Claw Hammer Supply on as an advertiser uh, because their product is, is something that I, I believe you could highly benefit from in a number of scenarios. But anyway, uh, just to give you a bit of news, we got our federal fuel permit. Uh, this license allows us to go ahead and produce fuel here right on the homestead legally. It allows us to legally own this. And so we got that permit um, uh, from the proper authorities uh, just a few days ago. And then we decided to go ahead and get going on building this pot still. And so we're going to go ahead and use this in a number of videos coming up. And really primarily, we're going to show you guys how to make fuel. I think that is an enormous benefit that this will allow you to do. Now, I mean, let's be honest here. This is a five gallon still. It's going to produce fuel in small quantities, but it's still going to produce fuel. You know, and so a lot of you, I know you are into preparedness. You're into disaster uh, uh, readiness and um, emergency preparedness. And uh, I really, truly believe that having a still like this could really come in, you know, to benefit you and your family or your friends in a time of, of need. And so uh, if, we, if we are, if, we, if let's just be honest, if we really think what's going to happen to this country and that this country is in trouble, it may pay off in dividends for you to own a piece of equipment like this. Um, and not only can you produce your own fuel, but this will allow you to distill water. Uh, distilled water is, is, is uh, of very much a necessity in, in, in a, a number of scenarios. Uh, so for all kinds of medicinal reasons, for other reasons, uh, th there's a definite need that many people would, would have for distilled water. And you can make distilled water with this. You can also uh, make your own essential oils. And so uh, essential oils, I know a lot of our viewers are big into essential oils as we are. And uh, this would allow you to, you know, make your own. And so uh, I think this is just an absolute wonderful um, uh, product. And I think that uh, anyone would be very much uh, benefited by owning one. And so, I mean, if you're into disaster preparedness, emergency preparedness, and, you know, survival preppers, things like that, you may want to go ahead and check out Claw Hammer Supply and, and take a look at this product. And even if you don't build it right away, just to be able to have it in your, in your supplies uh, in case you, you would need to, um, highly recommend it. Now, building it. I want to give an honest review on this. Uh, I told Kyle uh, Brown, who owns Claw Hammer Supply, that I would give an honest review. And to be honest, this was an absolute joy to build. I had a real fun time doing it. I am an amateur you know, solderer at best. Is that a word, solderer? Uh, I, I'm, I'm an amateur when it comes to soldering, okay? And uh, I think it turned out really well. Uh, some of my joints definitely are not maybe as pretty as a professional would be. Uh, but uh, you know what? That's one of the things as I was building this and I saw, you know, how messy I was being on some of my joints that every still that's put together is really yours. It's, it's, it's your piece of art that you're, you're making. And so um, it's unique. It uniquely belongs to you. And so, you know, that's one of the th another benefit I see of this is that there's going to be no two that are alike at all. I mean, all you're getting is the kit and some amazing instruction on how to put it together. The rest is up to you. And so you can kind of, you know, there, there's never going to be two of these that are exactly like that come off some assembly line in China. Okay, this is all you. So, um, you know, as I'm building this, I'm getting, you know, I'm getting, you know, things messed up and I'm realizing, hey, listen, as long as it works, who really cares what it looks like? It's going to be uniquely me. You, it's, it's my piece of art that I've built and I had a fun time doing it. And so um, that's my review. Uh, you know, I guess it went together pretty easy for the most part. There were a, a small, a few things. Once I got done with the boiler here, um, uh, Kyle recommended that you should go back and check for leaks. And I did that. I went back and I checked uh, for uh, a number of leaks and I had a few leaks on the back seam and on the bottom. And uh, those were easily corrected, but it was a little bit frustrating because I had to go back maybe three or four or five times to get them all uh, uh, done. Um, but I, fi I finally got it and figured it out. And hopefully I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to treat this with care and, and hope to not break any of the welds. Uh, that I've done. And you know what? A friend of mine down the road has an arc welder. I may go back to him and say, hey, listen, 
you know, arc weld this and make sure it, I can get, I don't know if that's possible. I don't know if anybody's ever done that, but I can't imagine it would be hard to do. Uh, but um, either way, it, it holds water. It doesn't leak. And, uh, and so we're going to give it some testing uh, here on the homestead. And we're going to videotape each time we use it and uh, give a plug out to our advertiser, Clawhammer Supply, and uh, just showcase how this thing works and how easy it is to operate. Now, many of the videos you've seen with these type of stills and other stills, uh, you, they see they have hot pads and things like that. You know, and just like you know, where we do canning and pressure canning here on a homestead, we're going to be doing everything over a wood fire. Um, and I checked with Kyle before... You know, before all of this, and I, I made sure that was okay, and he said it was. And so we're going to do this over a wood fire, and each time I use it, I'm sure it's going to have to be cleaned again and polished uh, like it is now. Um, and I just gave it a light polishing uh, after we got done with all of the soldering, and it looks pretty good. Um, but I think in the off-season when I'm not using this, I'm going to polish it up nice and put it inside of our house as a piece of a decorative piece. And um, the wife liked that idea, and she, you know, it does look pretty um, when it's all done. So anyway, uh, you know, the gauges look great. Uh, everything looks great. It holds water. It doesn't leak. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do some tests on this. So what we're going to do first is we're going to do a video coming up on testing and making distilled water. And then what we're going to do, I believe, is going to go ahead and try to do a run of fuel ethanol uh, production with this. Now that we have our permit, we have our license to be able to do that, we're going to go ahead and do it and see how much we can produce out of this. And we have a proofing parrot as well uh, that I got off of eBay. Um, really cheap, and uh, we're going to use that to measure um, uh, the proof uh, of the alcohol that's produced uh, with this. And so we can we can then go ahead and further refine it if we want to, and use it in some of our our uh, ethanol ready engines that we have here on the homestead. And we're going to do a video all about all that later on, so you don't have to worry about it. We're going to do a d detailed video on all of this, and we'll probably put these videos in its own. Um, series of videos on the YouTube channel so you can go find that playlist on the YouTube channel and then just go through the whole series of videos uh, for this particular product and for the whole series and making or your own fuel. So I hope you'll stick around. I know this is going to be a great series. I can't wait to get started on it and I know many people are going to enjoy it. I've received a lot of comments and feedback and email asking uh, for these videos once they saw the unboxing a few months ago and uh, I think people are going to really enjoy it. I know I am. So, all right, we'll leave it at that. We'll see you next time on the Homestead. If you enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up button below the video. It really makes creating these videos worthwhile. If you want to make sure to never miss a new video, be sure to click the subscribe button. Now you can get your homesteading questions answered. Visit us at our contact page on anamericanhomestead.com and send us your questions. Maybe we'll pick your question for a future video or article on our website.